Hey guys, this is Ron Moore, and this is Let's Check Out, or Low Budget Let's Check Out, King of Fighters EX2, Howling Blood. I'm here with Archangel Zero. <clears throat> Ooh, I'm back. Yeah, it's been a while, Angel, since you've been in any of my videos. Yeah, I've just been, uh, you know, working that overtime and, you know, playing the arcades. Yeah. And so, uh, now this is my first time checking out this game. Uh, however, Angel is much more familiar with it than I am, so give us a little insight on this game. Yeah, I actually uh, started playing this game when I bought the Game Boy Advance from you the first time, and I actually got into it. Um, it was a big improvement from the first one called, um, I believe it's called Neo Blood. I'm not too sure. But uh, this one, they supposedly uh, worked all the kinks out and 21 playable characters and added some new characters in here, so everything's more fluid. It's been updated, and if you ever get a chance to play the Game Boy Advance simulator or you have a Game Boy Advance laying around, just check out this game if you're a King of Fighters fan. I highly recommend it. You see how fluid it is? I mean, it looks like you're playing on a Neo Geo or a Neo Geo uh, CD or some Neo Geo. Uh, even the portable one, you know, it's just that good looking. Man, Angel, you're like, what's it called, wreck shopping? <laughs> oh, yeah, wreck that shop and uh, Look at Kim just going hard, just doing what he does, taekwondo and everybody. <laughs> you know, that's what he does. And look at that. Combo after combo. Yeah, man. I mean, I, I saw, I am familiar with a few King of Fighters characters in this game because uh, mainly of my experience with CBS2. So I remember Athena, and this is, uh, let me see here. Kinso. Kin, Kin, Kinso Sasaki. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta say it like the Japanese where you go like, Kenzo! Kenzo! Kyo! <laughs> so, hi! Kyo! <laughs> oh, can you use the bus as a fatality move? Yeah, like if, um, if you get hit by the bus and it's time to die, the bus will run over you. <laughs> I guess this bus fare expired. Ah, oh, fail. Hey kids, stay tough, but stay out of crime. Eh. Yeah, Kim's a good role model. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of Koreans look up to him because he's from Korea. But my favorite's always been Chang. I don't know, just that big bowling ball or whatever he's got is pretty awesome to me. I don't know. And I forgot I also did play Fatal Fury 1 and 2, so I'm also familiar with the characters from those games. And now you're playing as little Freddy Krueger, or whatever his name is. I remember him I remember him from CBS 2. That's Chang's uh, partner, is that right? Yeah, I think they went to jail together or something like that. <laughs> So now we're at a construction site here. Big bulldozer in the background. I think the bulldozer's the boss. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, Choi, I mean, he's like a little Edward Scissorhands. I mean, I don't know how to describe him. He's just so little and he's so versatile. I don't know, he's deadly. Yeah, little Freddy, man, he, he pwned... Uh, T Takara, whatever, um, Ryu, <laughs> whatever his name is. Oh, is that right, Ryo? Yeah, I think that's Ryu's, uh, I mean, uh, Ryu or Kim's little brother, I'm not too sure. Uh, li little, little Kim? No, um, so the, uh, the little gauges on the bottom, explain those. Yeah, of course, um, you always got the little gauges on the bottom, it's like your, your power-ups and, you know, to use your supers and... You know, King of Fighters has always been notorious for that, but I don't know. I mean, this King of Fighters to me is it's worth buying if you're if you're a Street Fighter fan. I mean, to me, they're you know they're just as good. All right, I like how in the background the losers stay there, like they're on the ground, like looking all defeated. And this is Yuri. I, I do remember her. No striker. So what does that mean? Oh yeah, so um, I think on this one part two, you can actually switch out like tag team styles. So once they're defeated, you can see them in the background, which is pretty cool to me. Um, and no striker means that they're they're dead already. All right. Oh, 14 hit. Ultra. No. <laughs> oh, there's the ultra combo right there. I may my spin. I have fun. I wonder. I wonder what he meant by I maim. Is that like? Uh, oh, look. Means he used his main emulator. Nah, so I guess, who's this, the final boss watching him now? 
Yeah, I think the final boss is stalking him because he's looking for talent. And uh, he's kind of threatened of anybody who's uh, better than him. Alright, so the next three opponents. I have no idea. Because <laughs> I'm not, again, not too familiar with the King of Fighters series. Just the first two and then some from CBS 2. Uh, uh, that's who I'm familiar with right there, Chang. Fighting Riji. Now, Riji... No, wait, is that one of the new characters? Yeah, this is one of the new characters they brought into um, the GBA series. Um, I think they added like three to five new characters, I, I believe, somewhere around there. And look at Chang just wrecking shop. I mean, he doesn't even have to use his ball sometimes. He, Whoa, look at him, look at him. Ladugan. Yeah, that was awesome. I don't know what it is about Chang, but he, he should have been the boss, like an evil Chang. I don't know. Look at him, polishing his bowling ball. Is there a part where Molly Cyrus assists him and gets on that wrecking ball and wrecks people on the wrecking ball? No, I'm just kidding. Uh. Like a wrecking ball. Get on Chang's ball. How did, how did Keo block that? He can't block a big ball in a chain like that. So on the bottom, that's... Uh, okay, the gauge is on the bottom that shows who's next. Yeah, I mean, you can tag in and tag out. I haven't seen him done, do it so far, but I'm pretty sure I've done it before. But then again, it's been a while. Look at <laughs> look at Kyle throwing on the ground like he got beat up. Oh, this is a new girl too, Mo. Um, supposedly, she's like a Bruce Lee style Jeet Kune Do, where she's, um, you know, just, you know, doing the Bruce Lee style uh, fighting. But the computer doesn't give her any justice. I thought you had more to you, dweeb. Almost looks like uh, Shin Goku, or Shin Goku, I forgot his name. A stage 4, uh oh. You mean uh, Shin Akuma? No, uh, what was it? It was Akuma, was it Akuma's teacher from Street Fighter 5, 4? I forgot. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, Shin... Shin Long. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Alright, so now we got the three... Uh, early King of Fighters characters here, Terry, Andy, and Mai. Oh my! Now when the desert, what? They want dust get in their eyes? How can they fight? They're uh, half sandwiches. <laughs> okay. <laughs> One thing about the GBA um, uh, King of Fighters is that. They did really good on these stages. I mean, look how fluid the sand moves. I mean, like, it's just phenomenal how good they emulated this game to the GBA. Yeah, it did a real good, great job. I love the GBA. I wonder who, uh, what kind of statue is that in the background? Is that like an um, Egyptian god or, I don't know, it's pretty cool though. I don't know, but what, what did Mai just do just now? She just did she do anything? Yeah, she's a she's a striker. Um, she hasn't died yet, so uh, the computer finally got the chance to use her. Um, again, Kim is still wrecking. Look at him; he's like a wrecking ball himself. Oh, okay, because I, I remember that they can tag in, like do a quick double team and then leave. Yeah, yeah, um, and that was really creative at this time because. Uh, I don't even think they utilized that again um, until King of Fighters, I think, 11 or 12. So this game was definitely ahead of its time. Are they trying to beat Final Fantasy as far as sequels? <laughs> um, yeah, actually, uh, I mean, when the, when it's a good series, I mean, you just keep making games. So yeah, they're doing a great job. And they're trying to compete with Capcom as far as coming out with sequels. <laughs> All right, so Kim pwned Mai. Their team wins again. Stay out of crime. Stay out of crime. Oh, the semifinal. Those are garbage men, or they look like occupational workers or something. <laughs> yeah, actually, they're. Uh, I think they're soldiers. So uh, SNK went with the retro soldier look with them, and kind of made them the tough look. I would think for the. I think they're called the... Um, what is it? The Soldier Team? Something like that. 
Let's take you in uh, an aquarium level here or something. Looks pretty cool. Oh, man. Kim pwned uh, that garbage man real quick. <laughs> you said garbage man. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty funny. Uh, Ralph, I think, also comes out of Metal Slug series. And I think Leona does too in part six. And Clark definitely does as well. So SNK definitely ut utilized their team to uh, two other series because how popular they are. So is Ralph a garbage man where well, he can no longer talk trash? Oh, man, I love those kicks that he does. Um, the, uh, yeah, just like he's so good with his feet. That's his, uh, those are his weapons. Man, this is. I mean, if you want to use an awesome character, use Kim. I mean, look at that. I mean, people want to do that stuff in real life, you know? I know, right? All right, here comes the third garbage man, Clark. Clark Griswold? Yeah, Clark, um, he's more of like a grappler. If, if he gets a hold of you, man, he does like 360 spins. I mean, he literally is... See, look at that. Like how he just grabbed him on the ground, pinned him to the ground. I mean, of course, Kim's not going to allow him to hit him, but I mean, he is the grappler of the bunch. All right, man, Ken, Ken, Kim is freaking whooping people. Man, just shunt him. Get out of here. I like how he points at him. He's like, you are next. You are next. Oh, wait a minute. Iori and those other two new characters. <laughs> she keeps gyrating. Oh, yeah, that's another one of the new characters, uh, the schoolgirl. She's supposed to be some kind of like one of the gem, uh, hidden gems or SNK, something like that. Um, but they have, uh, I think that's Roxy. She comes out in part 11 and 12, uh, King of Fighters series. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is a deadly team right here. I mean, you got a Yori with two new girls that apparently are deadly. Yeah, Yori, man, so emo, but powerful. Uh, final stage, even though there's two more after that, but I guess those are like super secret stages and all right so I guess the finals of the actual tournament so Kim versus June yeah at first I thought it was Roxy she looks a lot like Roxy from King Fighters 11 but uh, apparently she's another new character too um, you see she's uh she's pretty deadly herself but but then again you can't get past Kim uh, but I definitely want to try out Joan see how good she is. Yeah, well, she, uh, Kim made her look sorry right here. I probably because Kim is so freaking awesome. Or well, the person that recorded this is so good with Kim. Oh, uh, here comes Yori. Oh, now it's on. Will, will Yori give Kim some competition? Oh, so far, no. Oh, pwn him. Yeah, I first seen Iori in CBS too. He was, uh, I think, was there one a normal Iori? Then there was like an even crazier one that would laugh hysterically or be hunched over like he's possessed. Yeah, apparently Iori like engulfed the uh, Orochi power, and uh, chorus they always make an evil version, and uh, he's just one of those that you know he abuses power, of course. And oh look, here's another new character, Mew. Um, she's one of the gym characters too. Um, I think it's kind of cool. They finally have a, you know, a high school student type uh, character, and of course the Japanese are gonna take advantage of that. And oh, she didn't get, she only got a chance to throw one feather. Hey, all right. <laughs> Orochi, I remember the Orochi flame forms in the SNK forums. <laughs> yeah, those are pretty cool forums. Uh, I've been active there for a very long time, and I wonder if they're still up and running. I don't know. I don't think they are. I think they changed it or took it down or something, but... But anyway, uh... Okay, so I guess now we get ready to fight the boss. Hey, someone is coming. No, he was just sitting there. He was... <laughs> Whoa! One side is daytime, the other side is nighttime. Uh, oh, Gustav Machinima, whatever his name is. I, I thought that was Rugal or someone. <laughs> no, I guess that's Mr. X. Yeah, I wish it was Rugal. Rugal is a classic, um, classic boss character. Him and Krauser, 
But uh, ever since then, they started using like these big Orochi characters with all this like, yeah, this crazy power. And look, look, a big, big old tornado. And he's floating. I mean, come on now. And for some reason, they all have like super white glowing hair. I don't know why, but I guess supposed to represent their wisdom. Wow. Okay. So the guy in the chair is, I guess, controlling him. Yeah. I mean, if I'm not mistaken, that might be the guy that was in the chair. Well, no, the guy's still sitting in the chair. I think he just—I think he just said he's cha channeling a spirit. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, this must be like his Orochi form or somebody that he possessed. Because apparently, Orochi, super Orochi part, they can possess people. So I think that's what's happening right now. Orochi form? Did you say or Orochi forum or form? No. <laughs> uh, super. Uh. Front Kohler, ride the lightning. Uh, all right, here we go. Going to fight. Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, let's see the official name. Whoa, look at that! Look at that! Uh, mug shot. <laughs> it's like he's like, man, he's ready to kill somebody. S S Shinobi. Oh, Shinobu. Okay, here we go. Will Kim meet his match? Man, I want that kind of suit, and then just walk around floating, and people look at my glowing yellow shoes. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is this a kid? Yeah, it sounds like a kid. Either that or like a, or, or a chick, I don't know. That kid got pwned pretty quick. Oh, wait a minute. the lightning yeah okay now this is the final battle this is super Sinobu <laughs> that mug shot it's like Macaulay Culkin on crack or something uh, make another movie Macaulay Culkin man what's surrounding him I think those are uh, glowing orbs uh, from the sun yeah all right, oh, Cam having trouble getting in. Oh, he's not. This is not going to be a perfect victory here. Uh oh, he actually hit. Uh oh, he's actually hitting Kim. Who's going to win? I have no idea. But uh, Shinobu is like doing awesome though. Wait a minute. Oh, well, that's it. Even though Kim disposed of him pretty easily, that was uh, probably <laughs> his toughest challenge. Gonna join the Korean team now. Yeah, Kim Jong Yum or who is it? I think it's uh, Kim Jong's Bong or something like that. <laughs> Alright, so here's the ending with Kim's team. Uh, they went to visit him in the hospital. So who's June? 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 Uh, let's see, June. Uh, yeah, they're at the hospital. I think they're visiting somebody. Yeah, but who is he? Is he like an old character from King of Fighters? Yeah, yeah, John is the uh, other guy that has his, only uses his feet, he, he keeps his hands in his pocket, and all he does is kick. I thought that was uh, Yamazaki. Well, yeah, Yamazaki does that too, but Yamazaki, I think, is the Yakuza, he's like a gangster. This other one is, uh, he's part of the Korean team, but he don't use his hands. Oh, okay. Man, the only thing he can talk about is Athena. What? Is that Raiden? Uh, he's like Athena's fan. It's like, why, why are you in love with her? That's like Kim's woman. <laughs> yeah. So Raiden's in the hospital bed, and he's a big fan, fanboy of Athena. And <laughs> look at their faces. That's Earthquake. Uh, I'm not sure who that is. Um, Robert Rodriguez from the WWE. <laughs> um, uh, Alberto's an uh, old ring announcer. Uh, Ricardo Rodriguez, excuse me, and then uh, Little Freddy. Yeah, I mean, these are like the best mug shots ever. If I'm not mistaken, I think that is actually Kim in the middle. I mean, it looks like an emo uh, otaku. I don't know, but it, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's Kim. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Earthquake or Chang looks ticked off.
Yeah, so here's one of the new characters. Um, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, June or Jun. But oh, she's like a. It looks like she has pretty good grapples. So uh, I didn't actually get a chance to use her on the GBA, but um, whoa, look at that. Yep, she's a grappler. Um, and I don't know the full backstory on her. I just know that uh, they really went crazy on her hairdo, and uh, she has a really cool looking. What's that? What they call that? Uh, oh. Now if you get kicked like that. I mean, and you get kicked across the screen. I mean, you're you're gonna die. But uh, oh yeah, her. Uh, yeah, I think they call it a corset. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I think they did really good. Yeah, this is gonna be good. June versus Mai. Oh, she just did an elbow drop. What? It looks like she has a mix of moves, like between. Um, I want to say Clark and like one of the Vice characters. I think her name is Vice. Um, she was like a mix between those two. But I like how she keeps moving her hips like that. I mean, she's a very uh, sensual character. Yeah, hips don't lie. And she's doing really good to hold her own. I mean, she's finding some uh, champions here. Terry, you know, my uh, Andy Bogart. I mean, those are all top characters. And... She's holding her own. Look, she's even on Max, so... Uh, uh. So yeah, she's definitely holding her own. When you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Terry, you've really made it. <laughs> she won't stop gyrating. <laughs> I don't know. That she, it seems like she's not as good. As a, if a character if like this person that's having a real hard time with her, because this person recording is really good. But uh, then again, uh, uh, just like your brother Angel, anybody can. Uh, he's shown that you can be good with any character if you know how to use him right. Yeah, he's definitely a good player. And uh, again, this is the schoolgirl Mew, and uh, she's one of the gym characters. And uh, ooh, I mean, she's really utilizing those feathers. Of course, that's what she likes doing with her powers. But uh, I think they did really good. I mean. SNK really don't have a character like her, you know, and uh, I think she's a good mix, but I, I don't think they used her again, so I don't think she won any any votes or anything like that. Yeah, I was wondering how it's pronounced, Miyu or Mu, Mayu. <coughs> I think it's pronounced like like the Pokemon Mewtwo, probably. I don't know. I mean, I could be wrong, but I would just call her Mew. The Pokemon YouTube. Oh, but Mew, Mew, whatever name is, is knocked out, uh, Clark. Yeah, he said he's garbage. So is this guy, because he's also a garbage man. Oh, here we go. At least they're better looking than the quote-unquote garbage man from Survival Arts. Yeah, that game is crazy. See how she keeps throwing those feathers? Um, I don't know, she's just very different, but she's a very appealing character, you know, and, um, she... Looks like she does ballerina classes by all her twirling. Reminds me of Athena a bit. Ralph, come on, wreck it, Ralph. Uh, man, how are you going to block a feather? He couldn't. Uh, it was too fast for him. I mean, he's just used to taking out the trash. But uh, <laughs> here comes Leona. and uh, Leona's probably the best character out of them. I mean... To me, she is. I mean, other people like Ralph and Clark, but uh, I don't know. To me, Leona's always been my favorite, so. Um, she also has the evil version with the Orochi power. Um, one of the other King Fighters games, so. Uh, she still hasn't hit Mew yet. Oh, come on, Fiona. I like Fiona's, uh, Leon the sni uh, Snickers. Snickers? <laughs> oh, man. Slice. 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 Kimbo Slice. Oh. Please return. Turn where? Alright, so here's the last new character we're going to show. R Rishi. I guess that's his daughter. 
Yeah, um, yeah, Reggie's a popular character. They use him again in the King of Fighters, uh, I think 11 and 12, and I think 13, so I think he won the most votes to keep him in. And uh, if, you, if you see his fighting style, it's really like power hits after power hits, so I used him a couple times, and uh, I mean, if he hits you, I mean, you're going to go across that screen. Does his daughter come in and help with the attacks just like uh, Freddy Krueger does? Ugh, she, oh, 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 meteor hit, hit, hit. No, but uh, more than likely his daughter probably come out in later series, grown up, with her dad's power. Look, come here, come here, mija. Oh, you're the best. Oh, you look like Athena. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love that flaming bicycle kick. Man, Liu Kang is jealous. Oh, there it is again! Oh, EC dump! EC dump! Ah, Leona, whoever that is over there, she's ashamed. <laughs> she should be ashamed. She should, like, put her head down like that. Yeah. <laughs> Reggie, hit him with it! Ultra! Ultra! I know, right? That was ECW. Oh, oh, what did they say? Was that wee wee? I think so, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Now, on the bottom there, uh, we're actually uh, not going to show her, but uh, Mo, uh, they did just say that was, uh, well, I don't know if it's a new character in this game where she knew in like, the previous one, like the game that came out before this one. Yeah, she came out in the one before this one. Um, I think it's called Neo Neo EX or something like that. Um, but she was the previous character on that one, and uh, she came out on this one. And I don't know, out of the new characters, I kind of like her the best. But you know, Reggie, like I said, he's gained popularity, so they they decided to keep him. Nice. Yeah. So that is the end of us checking out or me checking out King of Fighters EX2 Howling Blood for the first time. Um, I mean, so far, yeah, it looks pretty good. Even though I haven't been a, a huge King of Founders fan, I can definitely see where this is real fun, especially on, on the GBA port. So, I mean, my first impression of it, uh, actually looking at it here, I mean, so far, I'm, I'm going to have to give it a 7 out of 10. Uh, definitely looks great. It looks fun to play. Um, but then, again, I'm, I've always been partial to Street Fighter. So, um, that's why I probably wouldn't fully get into this one, but I can see where it's pretty good. Angel? Yeah, I'd actually give it a 9 out of 10 because it's actually a definite upgrade from the first one that came out in GBA. And um, they cleaned up a lot of the moves. They cleaned up a lot of the uh, lag time. They cleaned up basically everything. I would give it a perfect if they wouldn't have used like these cheap Orochi-type bosses. Um, they just gained the power and they possess somebody. I mean, I don't agree with that. I agree that they should just get someone like a boss, like Rugal, Krauser, you know, Geese, you know, all these top memorable bosses. So, I mean, if you still have your GBA lying around or you have a GBA emulator and you like fighting games, you like SNK games especially, buy this game, uh, download this game, you know, whatever you have to do to get this game, get it because it's, it's, it's worth the time. All right. So uh, now, is there any way to play as the final boss? Is there is it a lockable character or not? I don't think so, unless you play Mugen. Uh, I know. On, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Mugen or Mugen. Uh, I know Mugen. You can download all the uh, boss characters and use them. But as far as this game, um, I think they usually do have some kind of cheat code to unlock them. But I, I haven't uh, looked into it. All right, so there you go. That's the end of us checking out this game, King of Fighters EX2, Street Fighter EX Plus Alpha. No, uh. So that is it. We're out of here. I'm Ron Moore. Archangel Zero. God bless. Take care. Perfect. <laughs>